What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Tesla video. In this one, I want to show you something called Tesla Fi. It is a data logging app for your Tesla and it has all sorts of really cool functions and features. So in this video, I'm going to go through some of that. Uh, just real quick, I want to point out that you get a 14 day trial uh, just by going test to Tesla Fi. However, I will have a link in the description below where you can get a 30 day trial instead of the normal 15. So when you open up Testify, the first thing you'll see is this page here. At the top here, it says what the front is idling, and it's been idling for one hour and 38 minutes. It says the doors are locked, uh, the charger is disconnected. It gives you a rated range and an estimated range. Uh, it's rated at 159 kilometers, but it's estimating I will only get 139.63 gives you inside and outside uh, temperature as well as an odometer. Along the top here, you have sleeps, idle, drives, charges, map, elevations, tags, etc. You can quickly toggle on and off uh, different settings that you want. And then as you scroll down, it will tell you uh, different trips that you've taken. So you can see I went from Costco to PetSmart. Uh, it took about five minutes of driving time, uh, 0.93 kilometers driven. It gives you your actual rated kilometers used, uh, everything like battery percentage. What's really cool is it gives you costs and gas savings. So in settings, you can preset exactly whatever your charging rate is at home and different places. And I'll show you that in a sec. And then you can also put in whatever gas car you had prior and it gives you gas savings, which is kind of neat. You can see how much gas you saved in total. And more importantly, you can see how much it's costing you to charge your Tesla. So you can keep going through and it gives you all sorts of different data. Along the top here is you have account uh, settings, accounts, notifications, sleep modes. So one of the big things uh, with this is uh, vampire drain, but it does have different sleep modes. So it's not going to like wake up your car constantly and things like that. So nothing to worry about. Uh, it has dry summary, temperature, uh, temperature efficiency, so on and so forth. You can see all the stuff here. Uh, it is really, really cool how much information this will give you. So temperature efficiency over like a one kilometer drive, five kilometers, uh, we can go to drive summary. And just for the sake of this page, I'm gonna block out some of these uh, just for privacy sake. But you can see here, it gives you like your top 10 destinations, top 10 longest drives, so on and so forth. So that is really cool. Uh, where it gets really neat is the charges. So let's go to charge summary. And since I've been playing around with this, I haven't been playing around with it too long, but there is 10 charges at two locations. So I've charged at home nine times and you can see how much energy I've added back to my car and how much I've used, uh, how much time I spent charging at home and how much average time. But what's really neat is I can see exact cost. So I've spent $14.01 uh, one cent to charge my Tesla at home. Uh, this is a free charger, uh, this one here. And I got basically $4.57 of savings because I never paid anything for that charger. It was completely free. So it is really neat. I spent $14, but I also got $4.57 of free charging. Uh, because I have free supercharging credit right now, uh, I have it set so my supercharging totals show up as zero. And you can actually as you go to different places, you can give them names and all sorts of stuff. You can see exactly how much you're paying to charge at different locations. Continuing on, you can go to battery report. Uh, this will give you an estimated range at 100%. So you can see what the front here uh, estimated range is 522, uh, 523 kilometers is the high range and 522 is the low range. So it's loot it has a loss, a range loss of 1.59 kilometers. It gives you all sorts of information here that explains to you about range loss and stuff like that. And it shows you data points as to how it's figuring this out. The last one I want to show you on here is calendar. So for the month of August, 2019, uh, you can see I've driven it 44 times. So each time you drive your car, it counts as a drive. It gives you your total kilometers, efficiency, uh, kilowatt out per hour used, average temperature, so on and so forth, uh, total cost. And what's really cool is if you scroll down, you can actually see this uh, on a calendar view. So you can see, you know, August 10th, I've had seven different drives and this is what it costs and this is the 
energy and everything like that. So it is really, really neat. Uh, it gives you a little map too of all the different places you've been to. Uh, so you, as you can see here, it's like <laughs> pretty neat. It gives you the different lines and the darker lines is obviously where I live. So you see more of it. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, it is a really cool piece of software. I for a couple of dollars a month, I think it's like $5 a month, maybe a little bit more than a couple, but it is a really cool piece of software. Uh, let me know in the comments below, do you guys use Testify already? Uh, has this video been helpful to you? Are you planning on using it? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, is your vehicle name one of the top 10 vehicle names for its respective class under Model S, X, 3, and all models? <laughs> Leave a comment down below. Uh, do like the video. Do subscribe for more Tesla content. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you guys next time.